the first Patreon question, Mr. Webster, was why has a men's grooming razor company not sponsored Ben's head yet? Come on. I asked them to approach Harry's razors, etc. a couple of days ago. Is this filming? Yeah. Oh, hi. How you doing? Uh, behind the scenes, welcome. Um, I now need to edit myself. Uh, yes. I would like, well, I mean, races, good races are uh, worth having. Do you want to answer that one, or am I going into a... No, 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 give me, give me, give me, give me. Okay. Which is the tool you most regret buying? <laughs> um, well, yeah, hold on. Well, the last tool I've paid full price for. Let's go for that. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, go. Well, the last tool I paid full price for, considering I have a vintage tool shop, was this tinsy tiny little thing for doing um, uh, the pattern that you get on shotgun butts. It costs like 30 quid and it's tiny, and I haven't used it yet. It really, I really need to, I thought it came with three or four of them. The, the, yeah. Please, can I have your 90 hour build so I can impress the woman of my life slash dreams? <laughs> Go on then. Yeah. Ready? Yep. Three, two, go. Um, I'm sorry, but it's mine. Uh, if you really want to impress her, make your own version. That's the whole point of this. Um, learn from my mistakes, though, and simplify it. Actually, nobody should ever listen to me on, on relationship advice. Happily married after 13, 14 years now. Yeah. Bloody hell. Staying on the complication, what is the hardest part? Okay. Yeah. Three, two. Finishing it. Um, I'm still here. We're still here. Look, hey, woohoo. Uh, okay, so yeah, finishing the damn thing. The carving was great fun, but it's an organic shape, so yeah. Finishing it. it. It's a habit now. Should you be mic'd up for this? You should be mic'd up for the for the. Yeah. No, seriously. She should be mic'd up. Yeah. Your microphone should pick up enough. One person, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This must be an error or a very persistent person. How do you angle the neck? Oh, come on. I've answered this one a million times. I know. We'll have to do a tutorial video on that. I'll answer it quickly. It might be a glitch. It might be a glitch. It's, it's fine. It's, it's one of those questions that... Uh, uh, that keeps on coming through. Um, where's our channel? Search crimson neck break. Neck and reek? What's a neck and reek? All right, cool, yeah. Technical difficulties. So, uh, yes, we often have technical difficulties when I'm the one, uh, well, anywhere near the camera. That's just the way it goes. Ready, how do you angle a neck? Okay, I've done this in... S Sorry, don't count you in. S do you? Three, two, go. 
this is a very commonly answered qu asked question and answered because I answer it a lot. Uh, check out on YouTube, Achieving the Perfect Break Angle Every Time. Well titled, Talitha. Um, on our YouTube channel, it's all in there. There's a lot of repeats, like what's your number one advice for a guitar building beginner? What is my number one advice for a guitar building beginner? Uh, we can do that one quickly. Ready? Three, two. Make as many mistakes as humanly possible. Make as much sawdust as humanly possible. Um, reuse hardware. My first 10 guitars, I couldn't afford anything. And I kept on using the same hardware again and again and again and doing the same thing over and over and over. That is the way to succeed. Hmm. Succinct. Hmm. I wish I had time to practice. Yeah, let's do that quickly. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, yes, Yandel's Woodworking Show, I'm very much looking forward to it. I'll be there with Crimson and with uh, VintageToolshop.com. Uh, incidentally, we're looking for new luthiers to come and join our team uh, in the school. So if you're down, come and talk to us. You, you counted me out too late. Meh. Maybe I wasn't concentrating on what you were doing. So, files I need. Is that good English? I'm very much looking forward to it. Must be. Yeah. Hmm, all right. Why don't you make more acoustic instruments? I've only seen pure than British from Croatia. Croatia. Always wanted to go there. I don't have a clue why. Okay, we can do that. Uh, I suppose I should think of an answer actually first. Hold on. Why don't you make more acoustic instruments? All right, let's go. Because Christopher has it. Yes, really? Let me get ready. Go uh, on. Three, two, go. Uh, my training was in Baroque instruments. I went into that training because I wanted to build electric guitars and I wanted to have the best training possible before I started. Uh, I can build them and I will in the future, but they take so much time, he says, sitting next to the 90 hour build. I think I got all of that. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly there. Have you ever made a guitar out of something reclaimed, like a skateboard? <laughs> okay, hold on. Um, yes. Well, you might as well ask me here and I'll... I'll, I'll yeah. Make sure you know where it is first. I know where it is, yeah. Okay. Three, two, this isn't on camera. I'll walk around to the camera. Okay, three, two... Oh, wait, wait, sorry. Wrong question. Weird. The camera's gone weird. I'm, I, the bad workman blames the tools. 
Actually, no, a good workman has good tools. In the background. Yeah, of course, it's all corporate. Yes, absolutely. Um, I built this guitar for, it was a CBeebies program called Junkyard Rescue or something like that, out of a billiards table. And they then took it to the show and destroyed it. I know to rebuild it now. Seriously, if you ever have the opportunity, and they will use the word opportunity, to work with a production company on a, an actual TV program, First of all, make sure they're paying you, because that hardly ever happens. Second of all, if you lend them something, make sure there is a cast iron insurance agreement in, because every time I've ever done that, they have um, destroyed what I have lent them. It's generally guitars. This thing was left on a, the top of a shelf uh, in rain. It wasn't left back in its case. Uh, I say rain, it must have been leaked on. There's uh, rust on the frets, it got moldy. Um, and uh, they managed to knock one of the, con they, they just destroyed the guitar. Um, however, it was 100% awesome because my children didn't know I'd done it and uh, um, they were watching the program and then I came on and it was like, <gasps> it was worth, it was 100% worth doing. Um, but anyway, <sighs> in fact, I'm giving that guitar to, uh, uh, to one of them, or all of them, three children. Two, well, you have inspired my wife and I to start a custom guitar business, thank you. Pleasure. Do you want to do this? Um, yes. Or well, there's ignoring the tone wood debate, are there any wood tone. you would never consider making a guitar from? Okay, let's 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 avoid the wife uh, one. Um, that is really 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 cool. But um, um, anything I say, not a question. Yeah. It's, it's, well, it isn't a question. I, I, I worked with Tanya, and Tanya works here, but uh, as far away from me as possible. Um, as I said, relationship advice. She's uh, she's awesome, but uh, business. Does and she watch Patreon? I don't know. Probably. <laughs> she's probably got microphones around here. Um, the camera in the skull. Oh no. Okay, so ignoring the tone wood debate, are there any woods you would never make a guitar out of? I'm sure I answered this last week. Go on then. Ready? Three, two, go. Um, wood that is too wet, uh, so uh, anything below 10 10 percent, really 14 percent, I suppose, uh, or softer woods, so soft pine, etc. Um, unless you've got a very good reason, i.e. Shusuki Ban or something like that. Oh. Wenge. I think I'm never going to use Wenge again, ever. Or purple art, if I can help it. Was I? I I'm just, what, I, you distracted me. I was just wondering where I was with my filing. It's all right. It's kind of the job. <laughs> what do your tattoos mean? In 30 seconds. <laughs> Poor life choices. Questionable life choices. Go on then. Okay, I got the tattoos because this was in 2008. I'd just been made bankrupt through um, uh, financial crisis and all that jazz. I did not want to get a normal job ever. And this sort of precludes me ever getting a normal job. It's a way to make me succeed. <sighs> it worked, ish. I mean, this is, yeah. Oh, and there was only half of it. Give me more time. Um, I also wanted to be recognizable and, and branding and YouTube and all that jazz and uh, whether people like them or not, people do recognize me. The audio on the top of that microphone camera thing is uh, going to need batteries at some point. Can you turn the thing around so I can see what's going on? Because, you know, I'm used to seeing what's happening and making sure it is recording. It's giving me anxiety that it isn't. I am not a diva, whatever you think. Yeah? Stop now, change the batteries, carry on. Uh, yeah, right, cool. We're going to change the batteries in the uh, audio for the camera thing. Yeah. Huh. Hi. Um, just, just, just quick fire. Just give me questions. Give me questions. 
What is the correct gearing on a pillar drill for general wood drilling in Thailand? Not that question. Um, <laughs> fine, fine, go on. <laughs> you said quick fire. Fine, go on. Ready? Three, yeah. two, go. Uh, it depends on what you're doing. If you're using a force in a bit, you want to go slower. The second you see smoke coming, you've either got a blunt bit or you're going too fast and you will ruin your drill bit. Uh, I prefer faster um, rather than slower when you're doing normal cuts, though. Fast and then low pressure. Ha, come on. That was like... Da, 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 da. Close. Um, yeah. I didn't get the final bit. Yeah, okay, fine. I'll, I'll try it again. I need to remember to look, hard, look at you. Three, two... Okay, when you're using a pillar drill, um, I prefer faster faster speed on the drill bit and then low pressure, and that seems to stop uh, grabbing. But if you've got a force in the bit, you want to go through slow because you're going to burn your bit and screw it up. I think you've got to burn your bit. Okay, yeah. Um, and, and obviously, you guys just saw that, and uh, yeah, smoking. Uh, just avoid smoking at all costs. <laughs> Will we get more staining videos? Okay. Yes, absolutely. Uh, the guys downstairs, are spe specifically on the Scion build, are doing a lot of fun things with uh, stains and finishes. We are going to start filming some of the production guys giving tutorials. Uh, I will be doing more though myself once the 90 hours done. <laughs> Answering these things within 30 seconds is actually really rather problematic. Ouch. Yeah, how I'm verbose. How long should a truss rod be? How long should a piece of string be? Okay, yeah. How long should a truss rod be? Three, two. Uh, truss rods come in standard sizes, so if you've got a Gibson scale length rather than a Fender scale length, it's going to be the same size truss rod. Um, they act less in the higher frets, so um, as long as you can get away with basically, but it's generally a few inches short. Just like I was a few seconds short of time there. <laughs> Ooh, copper. Speaking of which, some copper rivets in here somewhere. Favorite music to listen to? My favorite music to listen to. Ah. Oh gosh, that's the most difficult question in the world. Anything I say is going to get me in trouble with somebody. Okay, we'll um, I, I listen to so much different stuff though. All right, come on, let's go. This is going to be embarrassing. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Okay, so I, I listen to all sorts of stuff. Uh, books, podcasts, etc. But uh, uh, quite frankly, I have been binging The Greatest Showman for the last like three months. It makes me cry just a little bit. It's just amazing. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Yeah, I know. It's such a short album, but oh, if I press play, it's going to come through here. I get us in trouble. That knife party. What's the solution for an S-shaped neck when it comes to fret leveling? String tension jig? We'll skip it. Skip it? I don't know what the question is. Okay, What's the solution for, a, for a... an S-shaped neck? So not a, not a strat type. A, a neck that actually has an S shape. A neck. Okay, cool. I think I know what I think I know what they're asking. Alright, let's go do that. Bend. When it comes to fret leveling. Yeah. S shaped neck when it comes to fret leveling. Alright. Right. Thirty seconds. Ow. Three, I don't want thirty two, seconds. Um, I'm assuming you're saying that the neck itself has got a sine wave in it. Um, if it is particularly bad, you're going to have to take the frets out, level the fretboard and then go again. Remember, however, that uh, on a guitar you want flat down to here and then some fall away. So, yeah. No, you said time, gave me five, four you and then you're done. You were looking at me. But you should have you counted the one. At me. Can you blame me? I'm, I was looking at the complications. 
You broke the fourth wall as well. Time. <laughs> Ooh, Crimson Guitars has just mentioned VintageToolShop.com in their story. I wonder if it's positive. Will you do us a full yeah, cool. vid tutorial on how to carve a... I way? probably have. Chris's way, thank you. I already have. Uh, okay, let's go. He called you matey. He called me matey. Burn him at the stake. Yeah, one of the guys at the Vintage Tool Shop calls me uh, mate a lot, and it's actually started. I've started calling people mate. Tom nearly dropped his drink when I called him mate the other day. It's funny. You hate me. I really do. I don't know why. It's weird. Three, it's an issue. Two. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot! <laughs> Will you do us a full vid tutorial on how to carve a knit? Yes. Christmas uh, okay, fine. We've really done it. This, this do. I'm tripping over. Oh. You're a bit ready. Whew, it's fine. I'm good. Ready? Three. Thank. Uh, I already have in the ninety-hour build. I'm fairly sure I carved it using that method. I also did that in the guitar that I built with Matt and April. The video series of which is starting very, very soon. Uh, so yeah, check that out, please. Also, um, Matt, uh, April Wilkerson's video, the first part of two, went live two days ago? Monday morning. Monday morning. For us. Well, we watched it. Anyway, we, so yeah, it, that's gone live and in that she did a, a, you can see how she was doing it as well. So uh, that's a, she does some pretty awesome videos. I like we, we should, well. we should really, uh, how the hell does she edit a build like that into, two 10 minute episodes, I just don't know. It's like killing babies, getting, just getting rid of the, uh, the content. She's, she's, yes, personally invested in it, but she's invested in woodworking in general. Yeah, but it's no, it's, it's all the footage. Baby. You've got like 200 hours of footage. You've got to release all the hours, not leave it on the cutting floor. I'm it's mean. I'm so looking forward to deleting this project. You will not delete this product. Product? Project. Would you ever make a headless guitar? Box? How many gigabytes of footage have you got in the 90 hour? I haven't even bothered counting yet. Seriously? I'm, I'm waiting till you finish. I'm waiting till I finish. <sighs> Question? Would you ever make a headless guitar? Is the answer no? I already have. Three, two. Uh, I would, I will, I have. Uh, I've made uh, seven string headless uh, touch guitar, tap guitar, an eight string one, uh, various. I've made various and I'd rather enjoy doing them. In fact, I've made custom headless guitar hardware before for funsies. I just said funsies. Somebody shoot me now. I think that cuts out Oh, thank you. But it's on, on the, the, <laughs> this now. <sighs> What's the correct way to measure neck relief? Didn't you do that? With Ricky? Um, with Ricky? I know that was breaking. Neck relief is uh, the curve. Uh, it's. Tutorial <laughs> video. Yeah. Would you try an arch top for the next 90 hour you wanted to skip that one? No, no, no. Answer that one. Next 90 hour? Next 90 hour? Next 90 hour? Are you practicing? I was practicing, I don't normally practice, but I thought it would be funny for this video. Go. Next 90 hour. The next 90 hour is going to be a nine hour simple thing. Okay, um, I will do an arch top guitar at some point. It will probably take me a whole hell of a lot more than 90 hours. I've done one before, I really enjoyed it, and I kind of want one for myself now. I mean, there is, that's kind of the point in having, having a guitar factory, having guitars. Just, just getting guitars, really. It's, it's. Yeah. Can we see a video on how to refret when abalone binding is present? That means you have to make some abalone binding. Okay, go on then. Three, two, go. If I do another video on fretting or refretting, somebody is going to kill me. Um, abalone binding is almost always not abalone binding. It's almost always plastic. Fake alone? I don't know. Um, it's there's no difference, really. Just didn't have really. Abalone. I mean, what? 
there would be no difference. It's just fairly brittle. So you've just got to be as careful as you normally would. If the luthier put the frets in with a wide enough gap where the, where the frets go in, you won't have any issue. Interesting. I've asked a few times before, but would you consider an acoustic build for YouTube? Yep. How many of these are we doing? I don't know. Uh, I'm supposed to be doing 90 hours, but we'll see. Well, Sorry. Three, two, go. I will do an acoustic build on YouTube at some point. I'm only, I think, 38. I've got at least another 30 or 40 years in me. Um, no, I, I will do. I really will do. Uh, I need to get back into that sort of stuff, and you guys obviously want it. No, I'm retiring in four days. <laughs> this guitar's killed me. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Following on from acoustic, any plans for a bass build? I'm asking for a friend. Okay. Three, two, go. Uh, tell your friend, yes. Absolutely. Um, I'm, I really want to do a few simpler builds for obvious reasons, and I would like to do a nice, simple, clean base at some point very soon. So, yeah. Four strings. It doesn't make it any easier. Uh, I'm, I really but, want to do a few simpler. Yeah. Are you going to make a guitar at Matt Cremona's house? We can tag him in. Go then. Matt Cremona is the best YouTuber. Um, he did invite me to go to his place and build a guitar or two, and I will take him up on that at some point. Um, I'll have my people talk to his people. His wife's amazing, by the way. She's like the coolest person I've ever met. Um, he did invite me to go to his place and build a guitar or two, and I will take him up on that at some point. My wife's the coolest person I've ever met. I'm debating is my wife the coolest person I've ever met or are my children? I mean, Orson's pretty, pretty amazing. <laughs> I, you notice I didn't say Orson is awesome because I can't do tongue twisters. Uh, Orson is my nine year old son who, uh, with whom I'm currently building a forge at home because he wants to make swords. I think that's a sort of standard nine-year-old boy kind of thing. But uh, okay, you went. Ooh, what's the question? A reverse version of the ninety-hour build. Question: The inside hollowed out, alien size, alien style, visible to the side. <laughs> you don't want to do any more alien stuff, do you? Hold that pose. Three. This is my unimpressed face. Please don't tempt me. Please don't tempt me. I need to take a break. Um, I, I will, oh, it's standing up. I will do interesting things. I'm going to take a break from this for a while, please. This is a reverse 90, the 90 hours started because I did the nine hour build and it was too simple and I was worried that people thought that that was all I was capable of doing. So I said, hey, we'll do it. And it's gone out of hand. Rule number one, avoid temptation wherever possible, especially if you have uh, no self-control like me. How do you Vintage choose the tools? right colour to stain for your instruments? Go on then. How many more do you want to do? Uh, another five minutes maybe. Okay. Three, two, go. Uh, at this point, I, I really want to go and do uh, an online course in colour color therapy. Uh, it turns out I'm really bad at colour, personally. I go down and I ask everyone in the building what I should do and then tend to ignore them. I got in so much trouble with the, with the original Scion. I've changed my mind so many times. And uh, yeah, 
it turns out my ideas on colour aren't actually as good as I thought they should be. I need coffee. Have you ever considered making custom guitar amps? Bet you have a few ideas for a video. Go on then. Absolutely. I've, uh, from as simple as making custom cabs for them uh, and putting in Mesa Boogies or Marshalls or something like that to a full-on Crimson Guitars amp. We've considered them. We've even had prototypes made, but it's at the moment not on the cards. Um, from as simple as making custom cabs. Yeah, making custom cabs for another amp is a little bit too much like, well, you, you're just making a box, really. That's insulting. Um, yeah, no, I've considered it, but uh, we just... Here we go. We haven't found the right partner to work with yet. This is a good question for you. Mm -hmm. Maybe. What's your opinion on questionable builds? Like excessive hardware or features? Go on then. Meany. One man's questionable build is another man's fantastically successful YouTube channel. Um, <laughs> come on, that's not a fair question. I, um, excessive hardware, excessive wiring is my big issue, but you know. <sighs> fantastically successful. No win here. Oh my gosh, I need coffee in my system. supposed to be destroying a shed this evening. Do you want to come and help me destroy a shed? No, I'm editing. It's like the third shed. Could you make an instrument using only hand tools, no bands or no plain knives? <sighs> Feed me. Ooh. Wrong question. Why'd you click on the wrong question? I didn't. I don't believe you. Seriously, it's glitching. It's just your, your Apple product is glitching. Look. Did you see James's computer yesterday? That's not the same question. Oh, do you? Headless eight strings. <sighs> come on, come on. This, so the problem is we're at the end of the day and it's actually rather warm in here now. Mm. Um, I think that's why we're uh, flagging a little bit. Very much so. Would you ever, ever offer relic guitars? I love them. What was the, I want to do the original question. I'm trying to find it. So obviously the Instagram questions we put out a day before and we tend to get um, several hundred and do as many as we can. Um, and we want to do this as a, or we are going to be doing this as a behind the scenes Patreon sort of video. Um, I think next time we'll film it first thing in the morning though when I'm full of beans and vim and vigor, mm. etc. As it is. I've been playing with uh, bits of copper all day. Right. Guitar build, hand tools only. Go on then. Three, two, go. This is going to be one of the imminent videos. You are not even the fifth or tenth or fortieth or fiftieth person to ask this question, which means, well, I should probably do it. I can. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to enjoy it, though. I'm going to absolutely love it. So the thought was, I'm, I'm building a, a home workshop uh, at home, as opposed to a home workshop not at home. And uh, one thought was potentially that we could um, have an empty workshop entirely, uh, maybe even go down to B&Q or something like that, and just buy four or five tools off the shelf, and maybe even some standard wood, maybe from Yandels or something like that. And then with an empty workshop and only a few hundred quids worth of tools potentially, and not even, I suppose I'd have to go to the tool shop, my tool shop. I have to, because that would be yeah. promoting my own tool shop. Um, VintageToolShop.com. Um, yeah, and essentially in an empty workshop with nothing but a workbench, go with some basic tools and build a guitar. Uh, I think that could be a pretty cool challenge. Plus I get to work from home for a while. And you guys wouldn't have to see me. I mean, bliss. Last one. Okay. 
Are you keeping the exoskeleton natural or plan on putting a finish of some sort on it? I mean, it's already done, but... Uh, sorry, I'm trying to decipher a message here, which I need to reply to, but we've got seconds. Uh, it, it's already done and everybody knows it's already done. It's it's all natural. Um, Do you want to leave it at that or answer a different question? Um, answer a different question. I'll call. Different question. <laughs> Would the 90 hour be possible in 90 hours? <laughs> Um, knowing what I know now, probably actually. Can you build a semi hollow body S type guitar with an arch top? Yeah. Do you want to do something a bit more quick? No, we could do that. Sorry, um, I run the tool shop from WhatsApp and uh, there's somebody trying to buy a couple of uh, router planes and uh, they're asking me what the best price I can do is. Okay. Semi hollow body S type with an arch top. Mm -hmm. Three, two, go. Anything at all is possible. Uh, the only thing that might give you a slight issue with an S-type arch top semi hollow build is your tremolo, uh, but I've done that before as well, and it's not, nothing is insurmountable. If you want to do it, you can do it. This counts for life as well. Life choices from Ben. Um, I mean, hell, seriously. I, I started this entire business from a shed at the end of my garden with no YouTube experience, no money whatsoever. Um, hell, crushing debt more than anything else, and uh, and ended up with ten thousand square foot factory and, and all of you guys watching all of this stuff and it's um, anything really really is possible if you try hard enough. Yeah. Well, if you've got one more interesting one, let's end on a bang. Top three essential tools for a beginner looker. Um, Okay. I can't narrow it down to three essential tools. A crimson guitar is fret leveling file, fret rocker, and notched straight edge. Fret rocker. Fret rocker. Fret rocker. It's, they're bloody essential tools. They're in the essential toolkit. No, I mean. <laughs> if my neck is too short, can I use another piece of butt joint to make oh, okay, it yeah. in 30 seconds? Okay. Pitch this way. Okay, beautiful. Only had that much copper left, didn't manage to get my That's those, fine. But uh, that's like right. Thirty-three there, also. Beautiful. You're a gentleman. Very welcome. Yep. Excellent. It's a lovely saw, isn't it? It's very nice. <laughs> Jay, what? What's on the veg? We've we've got it. We've got it in. in we've got it in hand. Okay. It's fine. It's the first time I've seen you. We're, we're not really doing what's on the bench, really. It's stupid, sir. We need one. Uh, yeah, so I have a place to we're doing, we're doing. You're on camera, by the way. This is behind the scenes thing, so just, just, just be aware. Yeah, watch your foul mouth. Yep, safe, Jenny. <laughs> Okay. Kind of. Okay. Go on then. Butt joint. Butt joint. Thirty seconds. I can't do this in thirty seconds. Go for it. Three, two, go. All right. Butt joints are absolutely useless. It's in the the clues in the word butt. Um, it just doesn't do it. So no, it won't be strong enough. But you can splice a headstock on, even if it's a different wood. I've done that before. Um, so if you've got rosewood, do some maple as a headstock, and it could work. Notice how I didn't uh, name the joint because I've still got a total mind block on what that joint is called. Fantastic. Any more? Any more for any more? 
Yeah, well, since we started answering, then we got more responses. More questions. So we could probably do this all day, every day, and just answer questions. Um, never get anything done. Like I would never get anything done. So, um, <laughs> so on. So, I just spoke to my wife. She's uh, uh, confirmed that there are not only microphones but cameras in, which is why she phoned. But uh, I'm going to be allowed to uh, finish the ninety hour this evening. So I'm going to dose up on coffee, find something tasty to eat. Um, and uh, and that's that. We done. We've got to film the night here, we No, what's on the bench? What's on the bench? We're just going to do sort of an intro to the what's on the bench. So this is going to be the last half of the what's on the bench. What we're filming now. So we're doing a, a time. And we're going to do an intro. Yeah. Timey wimey inceptiony thing. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we're going Doctor Strange. Okay, so you're not doing a conclusion to this. Hey, yo, thank you for watching. If you are interested in seeing this sort of stuff, although uh, obviously we've dialed back on the brilliance and um, humour and the, the, the fireworks and all of that that normally happen behind the scenes at Crimson, um, because this is obviously on YouTube. But if you want to see more of this sort of stuff, we are going to be releasing this every week as part of, uh, for one of the Patreon tiers. Um, Patreon... Yes, we are a business, but Patreon helps. It literally pays one of the wages of the media department, which helps us create as much content as we do at the moment. Um, that is that is its its reason for existence, really. So we really do appreciate your support. Um, but yes, moving forward, this is going to be one of those things. Uh, we will do it weekly and uh, behind the scenes thing for for you guys, if you find it remotely entertaining. If not, then please feel free to tell me in the comments below. I will, will weep. I will weep into my beard while you do, but it's fine.